oftentimes when when we discuss companies and and uh, success stories it it seems to me at least it boils down to talking about business models and you know funding models and you know luck uh, luck versus hard work and all this but what's often omitted is like also the the people behind you and people behind and then the founders of the company on a more like really on a on a substantial level not like not like they they worked hard or they did this or they went to stanford but really looking at the qualities of successful founders and entrepreneurs and and also you know talking about their identities uh, as you mentioned you were in in a bit of a blur and then <laughs> then like everything intertwined and, and at some point you found once you figured out more of who you are you then also figure out the, the way forward and it seems to me at least that most of the successful entrepreneurs are are people who who have a pretty strong identity um, and it seems pretty logical to me at least because that's that's the only way you can believe also in in what you're creating and and many of the founders also come from some form of bigger or smaller adversity and they maybe failed a few times along the way or whatever and they built built up grit but it i think it would be super interesting to take the discussion into into this direction and talk about you know for especially for young founders and entrepreneurs on on you know Uh, talk about how they can find their identity and, and what kind of work you can do around that because I think before you you're able to find find your qualities and your true self you won't be able to to succeed uh, in whatever you try to do yeah I look I think um god I always think there's so much work maybe I should have done on myself before I started this particular journey maybe it would have made me a better <laughs> entrepreneur because <laughs> uh, you know It's you know I think it's not too late yet. It's not, well look I'm constantly uh, you know I'm evolving. Yeah. What could I say? Um, look I firstly you know I think you know some early early advice you know I got is you know really this idea of you have to own your own kind of personal development journey. Firstly, so I think you know the starting point is always that intention to really take time to reflect on yourself and and think about how you want to grow. And um, ultimately, that's something you need to, I think, answer for yourself at least once before you kind of step out and start this journey as well, because it's, you know, it's pretty intensive, um, you know, choosing the life, building a company. It's very different to, you know, essentially working as sometimes an entrepreneur inside an organization or taking more of a, um, a structured role, if you like. And, you know, entrepreneurship is, it, it's, it's not for everyone either. And I think that's okay as well. You know, entrepreneurship has become very sexy in, in recent years and everyone has a side hustle, which, you know, sometimes can take away from the day job too, which maybe it's about kind of making it a, a choice to spend time on that and really get some credibility first. So you can actually step out and have some authority and do something in a space where you, you know, you want that credibility. But essentially, it's about always taking the time. And I think, you know, it's really only been in the last um, year where I've made more time to really, you know, make sure I'm doing things like meditating and, and stopping and, and, and thinking to create the space I need to really, I guess, restore who I am daily and then be clear headed about the decisions I need to make. But when it comes to like doing the inner work, which I think, you know, obviously you're never too young to to start at if we don't stop and think about what's important to us it's you know it's I think it's harder to be to be happy in life and you know, even for me personally I did a bit of a reset recently just around coming back to you know what are my values you know I've been so busy leading you know a mission-led company and you know I'm so focused on the mission and so passionate about that But even for me as an individual, it's important to come back and revisit, you know, those values 10 years ago, you know, have changed slightly to what's important right now. So, you know, that taking the time to think about, you know, what are they? And you know, for me, I went through a bit of a process and really came back to, you know, it's about, you know, growth, joy and love. And when I have, you know, those three things at the heart of what I do and the values, you know, that are driving me, I feel happy, you know, when I'm, when I feel like I'm growing, it doesn't matter how hard it gets or, you know, how crazy it is. I feel really good in that, you know, when I'm finding joy in the creativity I love about entrepreneurship, again, you know, I feel really happy when I have a sense of what I'm doing, you know, is me showing, um, you know, love to people from all different shared experiences or being able to build a business so I can look after my family. 
you know, that feels good. So, you know, essentially I think it's important to come back to these core things of who you are. It's, it's not enough to go, I've got the mission, I've got the company we're driving forward because at the end of the day, coming back to this idea, we are all human, but we are individuals. And to be part of, you know, a greater collective good, we need to make sure we're kind of stepping into that with hopefully our best self in kind of, you know, the best shape it can be. So, you know, it's not just about, you know, doing the runs and the physical activities. It's about spending the time and, you know, looking inward and being really clear about what those things are that are important to you. And I think it's whatever works for you as well. But the, the, biggest, the biggest thing is just about making the time and, and coming back to those core values and being clear. And because if you've got that right, you're going to be, you're going to be pretty happy along the journey, even when the unexpected and expected curveballs come at you.